Hey guys, it's Kevin back again with another video and today with a new LED light in the background uh, just because I'm recording right now in a very dark um, cloudy weather outside. It's autumn and I'm having a little cold again which sucks massive ass <laughs> and um, yeah this is um, Eclipse ROM version 5.1 uh, build number 6 and I keep hitting super user Android version 4.3 which is the best thing about it and another good thing is that it's available for Verizon wireless models such as XC912 and also the international version which I'm having here which is XC910 of course uh, the UMTS model and um, you can flash it on both and I will hit uh, I will Give you the link in the description and like always and you can search your device number there and let's begin with the status bar which is fully customizable of course and it has um, almost the same uh, customization features as AOKP like status bar just in the interface section which um, allows day of the week and um, stuff like other AOKP um, things Battery bar location, of course. Uh, top of nav bar. And um, uh, this uh, has not worked. Um, battery status style percentage, which I have right now, and also the circle thing, which is also very cool but I keep percentage, battery bar style. Um, Eclipse mode is on right now, you can also disable it and get the blue holo style. Um, you cannot see this um, that good in the video, but Eclipse mode changes everything to black. Man, this is some buggy feature here. But it works um, after reboot, of course, it's always um, set as a black background and uh, yeah, black, blacked out ROM. Uh, C-Log from uh, Cyanogen mod, which is um, also available in the Play Store as a Cronus widget. Um, you get it in this ROM. A digital clock. And um, yeah, it looks like this. You know it, and you get a camera. Uh, when you have inserted an external SD, you of course get um, all the 4.3 features uh, from the camera uh, clock widget. All th all the settings are there, and you um, customize your you can customize your Trebuchet launcher 1.1 uh, 1.0 from Cyanogen mod also, like grid size, um, you can add another row, uh, five rows, search bar, you can disable it, stretch uh, screens, you can also disable that, if you want to have 4.3 um, original home screen uh, look, transition effect, let's choose um, stack, oh no, carousel left, Wallpaper size, outlines, yeah, all your basic stuff. You can mess with it. And um, navigation bar, you can enable it and set colors for all the buttons and you can customize them. Quick settings, quick power pull down is, um, let's choose right. And when you choose right, you can swipe here, swipe down, and you can get your. Um, quick settings and uh, go for left and you get your notification tray which is nice um, it's from a tablet from the tablet mode tiles and layout you can also change your uh, layout there um, dynamic tiles okay 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 you can uh, choose your dynamic tiles here uh, buttons you can um, change stuff here like um, 
allow custom buttons. Oh yeah, home button, menu button, search button. So you can also uh, go for voice search here when you press it once. So Google Now will open when you have um, set it up, which I don't um, in this video. And your uh, lock screen targets, for example, to to the top, you can always go for Google. So that's really cool. Just um, hit save. And um, power widgets. You can enable that, but um, that's uh, also part of Sign Engine mod, and you have your quick settings here. So there's no point, I guess, to um, enable that. But it's always up to you. And yeah, don't want to. Um, uh, oh, yeah, that uh, effect is very nice. And um, let's end this video. But I want to show you uh, wallpapers, which are just the 4.3 wallpapers you already know. And I don't want to um, um, want to get uh, that long video here, not 10 minutes or so, because uh, customization is the same as CyanogenMod and um, AOKP, and um, it's a nice ROM, it's fast and smooth. Um, I recommend you to use AOKP if you want, because it has another feature which is called animations and um, it's a little bit more fluid. So yeah, a nice 4.3 ROM here. Check it out. Uh, maybe you want to try it and install it in Safestrap as your third ROM or uh, second ROM. Um, if you want to, give me a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day guys. Bye.